always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. GM misses a restructuring deadline and its CEO pays the ultimate price. We're going to have more. Also, the Obama administration sends a message to buyers of GM and Chrysler cars. Your warranty is safe. Twitterers may be able to tweet by GM's OnStar system. And there's new word on a hotter mini hatch from Ford. What's up, everybody? I am Derek D. And you're watching Fast Lane Daily. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. We begin today with a segment we like to call where the CEO's at. CEO of General Motors, Rick Wagner, is out. Fritz Henderson is in. Who's Fritz Henderson? He's that guy. Anyway, Wagner stepped down this week after nearly nine years presiding over GM's biggest chair. The outster came after an Obama administration task force determined GM would be unable to put forth a plan to turn around the company's sagging fortune. That from Bloomberg News, which reports the exit tops off an unsuccessful five-month bid to win billions in U.S. aid without losing his job. Wagner's early successes at GM had soured in recent years as the company's market share continued to slide. GM also racked up $82 billion in losses and was forced to relinquish its title as the world's top-selling car maker to Toyota. One Edmunds.com analyst, however, says the move is less an indictment of Wagner's reign as the need for a political scapegoat. And there's no word on how safe Chrysler CEO Bob Nardelli's job is, but the company did get a new reason to put through a proposed alliance with Italy's Fiat. The President's Automotive Task Force said this week if the deal succeeds, the government could extend up to $6 billion in new aid to ailing Chrysler. The deal could see new small cars and clean diesels on the road from Chrysler brands and a new sales outlet for Fiat and Alfa Romeo models to return to the U.S. after more than two-decade absence. But it's not all bad news for GM. The Obama administration says it'll cover warranty claims for both GM and Chrysler, that likely in an attempt to shore up consumer confidence in the event of bankruptcy reorganization. Company officials have said a bankruptcy would be catastrophic to sales due to its negative effect on buyers' confidence that the company would be able to fulfill warranty claims. And Chrysler says a new edition of its Dodge Challenger is on the way. The special rally edition marks the introduction of a five-speed automatic to the company's base model Challenger SEV6. Dodge says the new five-speed auto box will improve acceleration from the SE's 250 horsepower 3.5 liter V6, as well as reduce fuel consumption. The package also includes racing stripes, a custom hood, 18-inch wheels with black accents, a rear deck spoiler, and other bits, all for a total of $26,490, including destination charges. ShamWow! I'll bite your tongue! <laughs> That's what she said. And users of the online social network messaging service Twitter may soon be able to send their tweets via GM's OnStar system. Technology blog Gear Live says GM could be planning to offer Twitter posting via OnStar's speech-to-text system. The new function would also let Twitter users hear their incoming tweets read aloud over their car's OnStar system. No word on when the service might go live, or if anyone cares if you just picked up your dry cleaning and you are considering a quick leg wax before tonight's naked karaoke. I mean, I'm just saying. You can find out more on those and other stories at the FLD News Feed. That's FastLaneDaily.com slash feed. It is right there. And don't forget to subscribe to Fast Lane Daily on YouTube. All right? Next up, there's new word on an economy hot hatch from Ford. That's an internet rumor mill, and it's coming up right after this. How you doing? Bob Shubin Jr. here for Bob Shubin's Used Cars. I'm here to give you a deal of a lifetime. This car is a Crown Vic. Used to be New York City's finest, now it's at my lot and I'm selling it. It's gonna be fast, it's gonna be fresh, just like that show Fast Lane Daily. Fast and fresh every day. Sponsored by Bob Shubin Jr.'s used cars. Come on down, I'll give you a solid deal, huh? Huh? How about it? <laughs> and welcome back. Ford's new Fiesta subcompact landed on U.S. shores last week. That simultaneously with the high-performance Ford Fiesta RS landing in the rumor mill. That was the one expected to get a 1.6 liter turbocharged 4, reducing 200 horsepower. That along with a stiffer strung suspension, better brakes, and a new dual clutch gearbox reportedly in development at the Ford Skunk Works. But just two days later, the UK's Evo magazine says the Fiesta RS may be the victim of Ford's latest round of cost cutting. That according to an interview with the head of Ford's RS team, who says the company has killed plans for an RS tuned version of its 2010 Ford Fiesta. There's no official word from Ford management, but they never confirmed the rumors anyway. So there you go. 
And yes, I said focus instead of fiesta last week that one time. It's my bad. Well, Mike's bad, but hey. I, sh I, sh I should have picked it up. All right. <laughs> well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Did you guys hear about the one-armed fisherman? He caught a fish this big. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the oldest joke in the book. Jesus used to tell it. <laughs> you guys have a lovely day and a special shout out to JF out in California. Loudy, we're The Fast Lane Daily team. The General Motors assembly plant in Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Always fresh, every day, Fast Lane Daily. $99 Music Videos is best experienced with Verizon Fios Internet.